I look at it more of, you know, like a good book, there's chapters in a good book, and uh, I would probably at this point in time splice it into maybe three chapters where we had the founding years where Nip led and ran this business and, and created this business for the first uh, decade or so and really got it off the ground and then I came in and maybe I messed it up a little bit I don't know but I added a bunch of skews and a bunch of different beers and those that was the expansion chapter and uh, now at the helm of um, Jeff Cornell I'd say maybe we're in the acceleration chapter. Well actually on that first day I was managing the pilot brewery uh, which was sort of a dream job at that time and Pete Coors walked in and said hey you guys have a new mission and we're like okay that's kind of cool what is it? Well, you're AC Golden Brewing Company now. And we thought, well, that's great. What, what the heck is that? The initial concept was let's put together um, a little brewery within a brewery and learn how to, to go to market and compete against craft beers that were uh, beginning to have significant influence in the, at retail. Challenges were, were quite significant and uh, uh, primarily because we, we didn't have any Colorado hops. And so NIP was able to start the, the hop industry here in Colorado. First of all, there was no hop industry in Colorado. I had an aspiration to create a, a really good craft style beer out of ingredients that were all sourced in Colorado and we were going to call this beer Colorado Native. The fellow that really gets the most credit for the hop industry and, and Coors part in that is a fellow named Steve Rockhold. So I went to him one day and I said, don't laugh, but I, I, I'd like to get, some, get my hands on some hops grown in Colorado. And he said, well, I'm not going to laugh. I'm just going to tell you there aren't any. Uh, but if that's something that's really important to you, we'll make it happen. He went out to the Western Slope where a lot of agriculture in Colorado uh, is grown. And to this day, all the hops in Colorado Native are still being grown out there. And Steve's no longer with the company, but he is responsible for starting hops industry in the state of Colorado. I take the credit, but he did all the work. I think what I'm most proud about is the beers because ultimately that's the test and our brewers have done a phenomenal job we have a group of world-class brewers. These guys were brewing Coors and Coors Light, and all of a sudden they had an opportunity to brew IPLs, and, uh, and they took that opportunity and just knocked it out of the park. Putting that first HJ into a box and seeing it hit the market, um, it's a pretty amazing feeling when you get to see something that you've done, especially a small group of people. There were about six of us back then doing all the work, um, you see it in the market, see it in a restaurant, you're like, yeah, I did that. I don't have a formally trained palate, but I taste a lot of things and I know what I like and I don't like. To me, it needed something changed. So when we finally met in Bill's Bar with the latest brew and we tasted it, and I said, Jeff, this is it. This is Herman Joseph Private Reserve got a big smile on his face. He left and when he came back, I'm working from memory, but I think he said, Nip, you changed that beer 63 times. <laughs> I said, well, we finally got it right, Jeff. <laughs> well, my favorite beer to brew, hands down, is Porter. The aromas that come out of the brew house during Porter Day, there's nothing like it. Um, it's definitely my, my favorite beer to brew. It's um, a little more, little more work to it. When I think of AC Golden, the one thing that comes to mind is quality beer. We make really good beer. We try to make, we try to do it as best as we possibly can. When I think of AC Golden, the one word I think of is fun. Um, I haven't worked a day since we've been AC Golden. It's still, still amazing and awesome to be working with my friends. And I'll use teamwork because I think we have one of the best teams all across the board from Uncle Pete on down. My favorite thing about working for AC Golden is definitely the team. They brought me in, feels like family already, so. Native is the first word that comes to mind. And I think that's a great concept, making a beer with all Colorado ingredients sold only in Colorado. It's pretty spectacular. We uh, have really built our reputation around Colorado Native 
in all of the beers that have been created with 100% Colorado grown ingredients, and that's amazing. But we're really trying to now create uh, our, our identity and new brands around AC Golden Brewing Company uh, as a full-on brewing company. So some non-Colorado ingredient beers, which frankly the brewers are really excited about because their, uh, their crayon box gets a lot bigger now in terms of ingredients. I like the more crisper, cleaner, easier drinking beers, um, but I am moving into uh, the more craft-centric, on-trend brands. The new Juicy IPAs, we're going to win a lot of hearts, minds, and palates with that for sure. The fact that the brewers over the, the 15 years of the biz this business have been able to submit beers and continue to break through the very cluttered crowd of craft beer that is out there and show that um, we have the best in the business uh, behind this brand. We had the lemon pills, that was really good. We had the nip pills, that was really good. Um, but there's just been a lot of fun ones that they just did to try recipes out and they turned out really good. The Dunkel, that one for the GABF, that one was awesome. If I were to describe AC Golden in one word, I would just have to say passionate. Uh, everybody on this team loves what they're doing. I'd say grit would be the word that comes to mind. Um, yeah. It's kind of a the team that we have. We if something needs to get done, it gets done, no matter who does it. When we had to do a bottle run and and. Uh, I mean, we'd, we'd, we'd pack by hand. We'd pack by hand. We got employees that would come, and they want, and we'd we'd go and stick bottles in cases, and we probably broke a lot of safety rules. And everybody is absolutely relentless on getting this brand out there in Colorado. What is my one word for AC Golden? Uh, I have a lot like delicious or tasty or scrappy, uh, but if I had to sum it up into one, I would just say outstanding. Um, outstanding beers, outstanding team, outstanding brewers, outstanding brand. If I could describe AC Golden in one word, what would it be? It would be successful. And the reason I say that, again, I can only speak for when I was here, but it took Blue Moon in the state of Colorado eight years to sell 10,000 barrels. We did it in five. I call that success. You know, the person who's influenced me the most uh, at AC Golden has to be Glenn Nippenberg, uh, Nip, uh, as he's affectionately known. Uncle Pete, Nip, Steve Rockhold. Yeah, biggest impact, definitely the the guys that started it all. Uncle Pete, Uncle Nip, good old Steve Rockhold who got all of the materials on the Colorado side going. We wouldn't have had Native without all three of those guys working together. The biggest impact on ACG has been by an old gentleman named Glenn Nippenberg. Probably Glenn Nippenberg. Nip. That gentleman right over there. <laughs> Nip. Who do I think has had the biggest impact? Uh, that's an easy one for me. It's um, me. No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Hands down, uh, the biggest impact of this business was Nip. Um, we wouldn't be here today, the business wouldn't be where it is if it wasn't for uh, his drive and desire to make it what it is today. So what's the, what are my hopes for the next 15 years for AC Golden? Uh, it's, it's, it's very, there's only one thing that I haven't been able to accomplish. We need a brewery. The, my hope for AC Golden over the next 15 years would be to become the household name um, in Colorado and beyond. My hope is the next 15 years that all the talented people at AC Golden will come up with products that will fill consumer demand and keep this company growing. I want to thank Nip for uh, his dedication to all the years that he was uh, with us building AC Golden. Uh, couldn't have, I, I don't know who else would have been better to get that job done and some pretty trying circumstances at time. And I also want to reach out and thank our, our uh, AC Golden Colorado Native employees uh, working hard every day, uh, both brewing and, and out in the marketplace, um, building the brand in, uh, in Colorado. And um, I can't be more grateful for, for your dedication and what you've done. I'll go ahead and be redundant and say it for the thousandth time. Uh, what an honor it was to get the phone call. What an honor it was to get the job. And most everything. Steady now. <laughs> most everything I have today is because of the Coors family. So I can't 
I'll say it a thousand and one times. Thank you. It's an honor. Thanks, Nip. Thanks, boss.